Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Terminator Zero, the anime, it came out, I watched it, I binged it in a day, and I'm going to recommend it to you, I think this is well worth your time, this is by Maxon Tomlin, who did the, uh, he did the writing and the show running on this, and it is made, this is, this is an anime, it's made by Production IG, which is a fantastic anime house, uh, they did Ghost in the Shell for instance, they are genuinely a great animation house, and I will say, I think this rivals this rivals most of Netflix's animation as probably one of their their best. You know, if I'm looking at everything which is on Netflix in terms of the animation, this this is one of the best. It's really really good. If you like anime, you'll like this. Especially if you're a little bit sick to death of the CGI anime, you know. And and this obviously would have had some of that, of course. But it's done very well. Very, very well. So this was made in association with Netflix and Skydance. So Skydance got involved in this because they've obviously got the rights to, Net uh, not Net to Terminator. Um, it follows Malcolm Lee, uh, a new character in Tokyo, as he and his family, are, well, he is creating a rival AI to Skynet, Kokoro. And uh, Terminator comes back. And obviously someone gets sent back as well to protect Malcolm. Now, I thoroughly enjoyed this. I thought this was fantastic. Uh, I don't really have a bad word to say about it. I tweeted about this this morning or last night just saying how good it was, singing its praises. This is a return to form. I feel like anime overall has unfortunately degraded recently to this weird CGI nonsense. Now, again, I know that some of this this would have been developed with CG as well, and it's, you know, animated with that, etc. But it's when the, you know, it's when the anime is so blatantly obvious with its CG animation element, you're just like, oh, God, this is crap. It takes out the charm. It really does. Uh, and I feel like anime overall has suffered as a result of that. But this was, this is brilliant. I, I don't have anything negative to say about it. it it might not be a 10 out of 10 but i don't have anything negative to say really about this it's so well written and the way they explain time travel was so perfect i really loved it so time is not a linear travel so we're at this point in time time you know is isn't isn't consistently linear so when you introduce time travel, you are creating alternate realities, basically. You know, the it, it's an alternate universe, uh, alternate dimension, I guess. So your linear travel, you're on one timeline, you get sent back into the past, that timeline continues, but you're sent back into a timeline that hasn't yet occurred yet. So you're creating a brand new timeline, a branch, which goes off. So it ends up with this zigzag when you introduce time travel, which I thought was absolutely, like, what a profound way of explaining it. I loved that. I thought that was great. Uh, genuinely really, really, really good. So again, what's the story? And I'll talk as non-spoilers as possible. Malcolm Lee, is uh, he's working at a tech company. He's developing a rival AI because he knows about Judgment Day plagued in his dreams about judgment day and so he's developing a rival ai because he obviously doesn't want um he doesn't want judgment day to happen he doesn't want skynet to succeed so he develops kokoro uh rival ai an ai which is one singular being which represents itself as three parts which i thought was quite smart especially when you watch it and you'll realize how that sort of comes to pass and things like that i think you'll appreciate that as well and uh, an individual gets sent back in in time to protect Malcolm. And a Terminator gets sent back as well uh, by Skynet. And uh, normal Terminator stuff ensues. But there's certain things which I really appreciated. So there are no major nods and winks to... The grander franchise, which I liked. I actually thought that was really, really... I just thought it was good. There's elements, I guess, you know, like 
the Terminator at one point dresses as a, as a policeman. You know, it, it's a nod and a wink to the T-1000. Right? But it's not in your face. It's just, oh, he's taking the police clothes. Okay, cool. Oh, he's riding a motorbike. Okay, cool. But it's not done in like a ham-fisted way. At all. There is no Arnold Schwarzenegger model floating around uh, in this either. T-800, none, none of that. Um, it It's Terminator, but in a fresh way. And it's exactly what the Terminator franchise needed. It needed to shake off the shackles of the legacy characters, which undeniably built the franchise, but have since undeniably weighed it down. I think it's smart to branch outwards to different uh, characters and different, just different stories within this world, this post-apocalyptic world or pre-apocalyptic world as well. And I thought it was really, really smart. I thought Tokyo was a really smart location. I particularly enjoyed the music. So there is a slight callback to the, da -da 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 -da, you know, the very Terminator-esque, uh, the, the Terminator theme. There is slight callback to that. But for the most part, it is its own music. It's its own score, and I actually really liked the score. There is a repetitive piece of music which does keep coming up in, in this series, and it's beautifully done. It's a really good piece of music. And by the end of the show, although these are eight episodes and they're 20 minutes long, you know, that piece of music has... It's not, it's not as iconic, of course, as the... Duh, 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 obviously, but it is its own thing, and I grew to really like it. You know, I like it anyway, but I grew to really appreciate it in connection with this piece of uh, artwork. And, I, and that's, that boils, you know, that, that takes me down to the nitty gritty of, of, of this review is that this is a work of art. Uh, I thought this was really, really intelligently put together. Again, love the way that they describe time travel. I thought that was brilliant. Just a really smart way of doing it. Just like, yep, there you go. Does that. Okay, cool. Excellent. I just I really appreciated it. I appreciated the voice cast. Uh, I did watch the, watch this uh, with English dubbing. Uh, it, you can watch it in, ja in Japanese language. Um, but it for me, it was just presented in English dub anyway. So I just watched it. Uh, and the voice cast is really, really good. You've got Timothy Oliphant uh, as the Terminator. Um, you've got Andre Holland as Malcolm Lee, um, Sumali Mont Mon Montano, Mon Montano uh, as Misaki, Rosario Dawson's in this. There's a lot of good, good actors in this. Actually, I'm looking at the voice cast now. It's great. It's genuinely a fantastic show. It's one to. One to recommend, one to watch. It's very, very low intensity in terms of the time. I mean, it's eight episodes at about, you know, 20 odd minutes each. They're not super long. Well worth your time. The animation is great. And it's a fresh take on the Terminator franchise. I'm surprised it's not got as, you know, higher reviews, genuinely. Um, it's bloody, it's gory, uh, it's pretty brutal. There's some really smart things that happen in this. Obviously, it's Japan. You can't really find guns that easily. The T-800 develops a crossbow out of his own arm. That's quite cool. Fires nails. Uh, that's a recurring thing. And, yeah, there's just some really smart things in this. So there's ways that, you know, at one point, we see a Terminator completely degloved, I guess. You know, no skin on. And he doesn't have to you know, move his mouth properly to talk now, obviously, because he's just fully exposed. So he just opens his mouth and the sound just comes out. You know, he's not making talking movements. I just just that alone I thought was quite smart. Just these little things where people have clearly thought about what they're doing was great. So yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. It's fresh, great animation, well worth your time. If you've watched it, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So drop them down below. Uh, and if you haven't, go watch it. So thank you so much for watching this review. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Turn those bell notifications on. And I will say as well, if you like what I do here, support me further via Patreon. 
as I do get demonetized on YouTube. So every little helps and that's linked down below. Cheers, take care, bye-bye now.